So, when playing short tennis, we know that there is no overarm serve or volleying allowed. All shots are either classified either as a backhand or a forehand. When rallying in a match, we most commonly see the forehand being used as a shot. So with the forehand, what it is is when the ball is coming over onto your dominant side. So for me, I'm right-handed, holding my racket in my right hand. As the ball comes across, it is the forearm that is facing your opponent and you look to wait for the ball to bounce and then you hit it and strike through. The other shot that we would see is the backhand. Okay, this is when the back of your hand is facing your opponent. You would find this on your non-dominant side, so it's when the arm is across the body and the racket is facing forward towards your opponent. When we look at some kind of more technical elements of these two shots, we have the top spin and we have the back spin. For the top spin, this one, we tilt the racket forward, we're moving from a low to a high position, and what it does is it adds speed to the ball, but also keeps it nice and low, making it a little more difficult for your opponent to return. So if we're doing the top spin on our forehand side, we're going from low to high, and we're taking it across like so. If we're doing the same but on the backhand, okay, again, we're looking forward, going from low to high, and again, adding a little bit of speed, but keeping that ball, the trajectory of the ball going a little bit lower. With the back spin, what we're looking to do is tilt back and go from high to low. This takes the speed out of the ball a little bit and it almost becomes more of like a drop shot. So we're going from here, high to low, just going to slice through here, here, high to low, 